Okay, so today we're going to make a bank log that's going to look very similar to this um, that we're going to use for our classroom economy. So every day that we have a payday or a bill day or a fine day or an auction day, you're going to need to open this spreadsheet up that we're going to make today and record your transaction so that you can keep track of what your balance is. Okay, so it's going to resemble this, but it's not going to be this. You don't even have to worry about getting something like this opened. Right now, though, I do need everyone to go to your Google Drive. Okay, when you're there, click New, and then click Google Sheets. Okay, um, where it says Untitled Spreadsheet, go ahead and click up there. Okay, so Untitled Spreadsheet, click there and type in your name and then type in Bank Log. That's what this is, okay? And now, uh, go ahead and click in cell A1 and type Date. Um, and it's A1 because A1. And now we're in B1 and we're going to type in Transaction. And here in C1, we're going to type Deposit. And I'm going to put a, a plus sign in parentheses because anytime you make a deposit, you are adding to your bank account. The next one is withdraw. And the deposit, by the way, would be your paycheck. Or if you win the lottery, okay, or if you get a refund from anytime money goes into your account, it will go in this column. Uh, then we're also going to have a withdrawal account. And I'm going to put a minus sign in parentheses here because anytime. Um, you withdraw you need to subtract from your account and that would be like if you're paying a fine or a bill or if you buy something then you need to subtract that okay um, and then finally um, in column E I'm gonna have balance and this is where we're gonna put a formula we're put a formula in column E that's gonna calculate keep a running balance for you um, so we're gonna skip a row here we're gonna skip row two and go right down to row three okay and I'm going to come over here to E3. Okay, I'm in cell E3. All right. And when I'm in E3, right where I'm at right here, I'm going to put the formula in so it will automatically calculate my balance every time I enter um, a deposit or withdrawal. So to start to do a formula in a spreadsheet, you have to type equal sign first. Okay. Um, so do that. And then I'm going to click here in E2, even though there's nothing in there, that would be my previous balance, okay? And I'm going to, once I click there, E2 shows up. You could also just type in E2, okay? But once you have E2 there, then go ahead and hit plus sign. And then I'm going to click here in C3, because of whatever's here needs to be added to the balance, or you can just type C3. And then I'm going to do minus um, right here, D3. Okay, because what, whatever appears here needs to be subtracted from the previous balance. And then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, and currently, you know, there's nothing here. And there's nothing in either one of these cells that we're referencing. So that will be zero. Okay, um, you'll see how that changes in a second. What I want you to do now, though, is uh, click on this cell just like this. And you should see in the formula bar. The formula so that's what it should look like if you're having difficulty with the whole clicking thing and entering the formula right now just click in cell e3 and type equal sign e2 plus c3 minus d3 okay and then once that's in there i'm going to point here at this little handle and i get this big black plus sign i'm going to click on that when i get the big black plus sign and i'm going to drag down a long way. So look at my look at my row numbers on the left side of my screen. See how I've got a I'm going all the way down. We'll just go to like right around 200, okay? And let go. And now that just filled that formula all the way down. So now I'm going to page back, page up to go back to the top, okay? Um one other thing I want to do here is uh column C D and E should be formatted as uh, dollar amounts because that's what they are. So I'm going to point here at C3 and I'm going to click and drag over to E3. And I'm, then I'm going to click and drag all the way down to like 200 or wherever it is I went before. It's way down. Probably don't even need to go that far, but whatever. Okay, so you get them all selected here. Notice the left side, my numbers are still 
moving. <laughs> okay, so we get them all selected right around 200, and this is good enough. Then when they're while these uh, cells are selected, come up here and click on the dollar sign. And now, and if you hit page up, it'll take you back to the top. Um, now when you put numbers in any three of these columns, they'll automatically have a dollar sign in two decimal places, which is what we want. So um, let's do a sample transaction. Let's say it's payday. Okay, and I'm making this up, okay, but on actual payday, this is how you'll enter it. So 1 slash 27 slash 2017. Let's say that's the day we get paid. Uh, transaction, payday. Okay, and this column, I'm going to make uh, column B wider because that's going to be my explanation and it should be wider. So I'm going to point here between B and C. I'm going to need some room and I'm going to click and drag payday. And I'm actually going to put in there, you know, I don't know, put my job. I'm going to be the custodian for class. And I don't even know what the custodian makes, um, but I'm going to put in. I don't know, 250 bucks I get paid. So I'm going to hit put that in and hit enter. And there, my balance updates. Okay. Um, so per line, you're going to have a date. You're going to have a de transaction description. And you are either going to have it be a deposit where you're adding money to your account or it's going to be a withdrawal. So for example, a withdrawal maybe would be the next day. And that might be the electric bill. Okay, and so now we skip this cell, okay, because this is not a deposit. This is a bill, and we are paying it, and money is going out of our account. So I'm going to click over here in the withdrawal column, and I'm going to maybe my maybe the electric bill is a hundred bucks this month. So I'm going to put in a hundred and hit enter, and see how it automatically updated. It subtracted one hundred from there. So that's how you. Um, do a deposit, and that is how you do a withdrawal, okay? So now these were just examples. I'm going to select these cells, and I'm going to hit delete. So right now, this is what your spreadsheet should look like, okay? And once we get going, you're going to put your first transaction here in A3. And actually, just as a to kind of like spruce this up a little bit and make it look kind of cool, I'm going to click over here in column E. And I'm going to select the entire column. And then I'm going to click here for alignment. And I'm going to click center. Okay. And then I'm also going to fill this column instead of having it be white. Um, I'm going to fill it with a color. We'll do this blue color. Um, that way, you know, I don't ever have to do anything in this column. I should never, ever, ever type anything in column E. Okay. It's filled with this blue color. I don't ever change it. Okay, I'm going to do the same now. I'm going to click on A1 and, and I'm going to drag to A2 and I'm going to drag all the way over here to D2. And I'm going to do center again. Okay, and now I'm going to fill these. Um, I'm a Cubs fan, so I'm going to do it red. Okay, um, I don't, I won't ever put anything in these cells either. Okay, everything in white is where I'm going to enter information. Okay, um, I won't put anything in in any of the cells that have fill. Okay, so there you have it. On your first payday, you're going to come back here and you're going to open. You're going to go to your Google Drive and open this. Um, right now, though, why don't you go ahead and, and click share and share it with me.